Now we're on to the crabs. And I'm gonna show you how to peel this. You're going to basically pull the pull the uh, the crab apart into little pieces. But this crab is a lot different from the rest of them that you've seen. This one is already boiled in crab shrimp and crawfish boil. Now, if you just have regular steamed ones, this method will still work the same. But this is what I like to put inside of my gumbo. Now we're gonna take this back flap right underneath. It usually lays flat. You can pick it up with a knife. And then you're gonna hold it and break it right open. There we go. Pull that top right off. They call this right here, I have no clue why, <laughs> the dead man. I know my mother, when she, she, my mother, when she taught me how to peel these, she said, remove the dead man. And I said, okay, well, this right here, pull this right off. Now, I normally I do this inside of a sink so I can just rinse as I go. But right now, I'm just kind of showing you. You want to break off debris pieces like this. See that inside right there? You're going to pull all of this out. There we go. Now you would normally rinse that out. This piece right here. And see you can get everything else out. All of that fat can come out too. And now you see the middle cavity is exposed. You see how it looks? That yellow stuff is just fat. Crack it like so. Boom. Now you're ready for the gumbo. Now I would rinse this off definitely. But you might lose a little, that's a big hunk of meat I just lost. You got to watch how you pull this little piece off. But I'd rather lose meat than to keep a little hard piece in and it falls off while cooking. You want to clean it up so, make it really neat. Now this is all perfectly cleaned off. It's ready to go. Now you're going to put this inside the gumbo just like this. Or if you want to pull these off, put both of them inside the gumbo so... This is like a two for one deal. If you keep it connected, they get to not only get the meat out of the claw, get the juice out of the claw, but they get the meat of the, the body as well. So I like to separate them so people won't go fishing through the pot trying to get all of the, all of the goodies out because everyone wants to get the crab. So split it up so everyone can get a piece, either to get a claw or body. That's it. So um, enjoy this inside of your gumbo. It's absolutely delicious. If you want to eat it inside the gumbo, because I've seen some people from out of state just pull it off to the side. And I tell them, no, you got to eat that. What you're going to do is you're going to start cracking this body open. Look, you see that flaky meat? Look at that. And then you're going to eat that right out. And it's soft. It's tasty. You're going to see why we eat this inside of our gumbo. And look, all of this comes off easy right after you break the body. Look at that big lump of crab meat. Yeah, you can't get this out of the can. So enjoy this. And now I've shown you how to eat the crab as well. So it's like a two for one kind of thing. Peel it and eat it. So when you go to boils, you won't be left out because you'll enjoy everything. Thank you.